in class exam. It'll probably be something like, you know, two problems with multiple parts, something like that. But it should be something that you can, you can do in that hour. Um, it's, uh, uh, for notes and stuff, what we'll do is you get one sheet of notes for this exam. Or sorry, what did I say on the syllabus? It's maybe two sheets. So two sheets of paper like this, front and back. Put anything on it you want. If you want to type it up and print it out so small that you, only you can read it, that's totally fine. Um, you can put anything on there that you want. Um, but yeah, you're limited just to the two sheets and a calculator. Uh, so no computers, no phones or anything like that. Um, what that means is, you know, you guys have been doing a lot of stuff with Ease, Maple, Python. But in order to get to the point of being able to do that, you have to go through derivations and set up your equations. So the exam will be something like go through the, the setup process, get a set of equations that you could solve. You probably wouldn't have to actually solve them. Okay. So it'll, it's the parts of the homework that you're actually doing outside of the software for the most part. That does mean that you, know, you can't rely on Maple to solve all your, your differential equations. So you want to be familiar with solving some of the, the more common ones. At least know the methodology. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's the format for the exam again, two weeks from Monday. Um, any questions on that? OK. Yeah. Um, will it involve uh, content we're kind of discussing in class up until the exam? Or like if you look at the course, um, the syllabus on the course uh, Canvas homepage, there's like a color coding. So it's basically all steady state conduction, including 1D and 2D, which we'll be talking about. After that, we start talking about uh, transient problems, and that will be for a second exam. Okay. Okay. Um, it will, no. So the lectures uh, up to the week, so I guess it would be the lectures up through next Friday would be included, and maybe a little spillover into Monday. But it covers the homework that's due that Friday before, which is a 2D conduction problem. The solution will be released to you probably Saturday um, after that like window of 24 hours closes. Um, so you can study for that stuff. Anything else? Yeah? When do you post my practice exam? Yes, I will post a practice exam or two. Um, I'll let you know when that happens. It'll probably be next week sometime. Um, okay, recap. You guys are going to get your homework one grades back uh, probably this afternoon. The, the graders finished that. The scores, I think, were really good. You guys all did a pretty good job. There were no, you know, no major issues I could see it, uh, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, if you do have questions on, you know, the feedback that you're given, maybe you don't understand what's being said, let me know. Uh, I could talk through that. Homework three is going is posted now, um, as of a minute ago or three minutes ago. So that'll be doing next Friday. This uh, homework three is going to cover um, a, a fin problem. And so you're looking at both a kind of a conventional fin that you have this extended surface is, is exposed to air. So you'll be going through and, and doing a derivation there. One important thing that I want to point out is as we're going through these, these um, models today, uh, we've been assuming that the base of the fin is equal to the base temperature, this TB. The problem you're asked to derive is not that, right? So you have a resistance between the base and the fin itself. So that makes it a little bit more tricky to enforce that boundary condition, uh, but makes it maybe more interesting for you. Um, so there's two parts to it. There's a kind of straightforward part, I'll call it, and then there's a less straightforward part. And the less straightforward part is going to involve solving a coupled ODE. And there's kind of instructions on how to do that um, as you get into it. Um, okay. Any other questions before we get started? Okay. Yeah. For the differential equations that we'll need to know uh, how to solve mm -hmm. maple and stuff, is there like a certain like, like types of classes of like ODEs that we just need to be able to know how to do? Yeah. Well, in fact, I'll I'll put a table up in a couple slides here, and it has like here's conventional solutions for common ODEs, and you probably just want to have something like that, or just copy some of the common ones down. Um, just to have them with you. 